welcome back. Today we're talking about finance and money, specifically types of expenses. Okay, so there's there's two vocabulary words that you you have to have to take away from today's video. Okay, fixed expense, a fixed variable, uh, you know, fixed expense or a variable expense. Okay, so a fixed expense is an expense that is the exact same every month. So every month for my internet. I have to pay like $86.22, $86.22 every month, right? And like pretty much each year it goes up a little bit, but for the year it's a fixed expense. So in my budget I know, oh, $86 is what I pay for internet. A variable, a variable expense is an expense that changes from month to month. So, so my internet is fixed and my water bill is a variable expense, right? I spend, I use more water in the summer, water in the grass, than I do in the winter when it's dormant. So it, a variable expense changes and a fixed expense remains the same. All right, so these expenses, fixed expenses, are super easy to budget for because they're consistent, they're predictable, right? These might include your rent or your mortgage. So some people have paid like $750 a month every month for rent or $2,000 a month every month for your mortgage, right? Uh, car payment. So people, when they buy a car, they might buy it on a three-year note, on a three-year loan or a four-year or five-year. Some people even buy it on a six-year loan. So every month they pay $200 a month for their car. Or every month they pay $450 a month for their car. These are consistent payments that are predictable every month. Home insurance is the same. Car insurance, those are, you know, insurance is always you pay monthly and it's always the same bill. Student loans or any, any, any type of loan payment, right? So people get loans and then every month they pay the same amount until the loan is paid off. All right, so these are, these are fixed expenses. Variable expenses. These expenses are not as easy to budget for and they can change and they're sometimes unexpected. Food. How many of you like to go out to eat? And you'd rather go out to eat every night except in, instead of staying home to eat at, at the dinner table, right? So some people say yes, yeah, some people no. Going out to eat might be more expensive or buying steaks at the grocery store might be more expensive than buying chicken. Buying ramen noodles might be the cheapest. Okay, so food, people some, you, people ebb and flow with their food budget. Sometimes you go out a lot. Sometimes you stay home a lot. Sometimes other people buy your dinner. You know, that happens too. Entertainment. Going to the movies, going to the mall, shopping, clothes. Right? That's a, those are, you can buy them or you cannot. And so it's a, there's a variable to that. Car repairs. Who plans on getting in a car wreck? Nobody. But if you get in a car wreck, well, now you have to go repair your car. That's a variable expense because it's unexpected. It's not predictable. House repairs. Sometimes it fit, houses flood or they get damaged, right? Doctor visits. Unpredictable. All right. So here is an example of a budget, okay? When someone saves money, this is, this is key to remember too. When you save money, that's considered an expense, okay? So they move that money to a safe place. If I get paid, it goes into my checking account, and I literally take that money out of my checking account and I put it into a savings account. That is an expense on my budget, okay? Because it goes out of the account. Into another one, so I still keep it, but it's, it's an expense. Saving money can help prepare for unexpected expenses in the future. So here's, here's my income. $1,800 per month, of income, right? And so each month I also have $300 in taxes and deductions. So this is my gross income, okay? And then this is my net income. Remember that the net income is the money you make after deductions. So this is the money I actually get to spend. I So, you know, a lot of people give tithe uh, or they give to charity. Some people, you know, you have to pay rent. Utility bills, gas, water, internet, okay? Um, what else goes there? Electricity, car payment, gasoline, student loans, food, right? That's that's only like $60 a month or $60 a week on food. That's, that's not a lot of money. 
if you go out to eat and you buy one meal, that's ten dollars. So it's that you know this is three hundred dollars on entertainment, hanging out with friends, hundred and fifty dollars for savings. Uh oh, nineteen hundred dollars in expenses, fifteen hundred dollars option. You know, I have to cut something because that is a bad budget. It's not a balanced budget. Okay, so. Maybe we could not save this month, which is awful. Ugh. Maybe we can cut our entertainment down to, um, man, look, 50 bucks? Yeah, so just we'll just say $50, okay? And now that we just saved $400, which brings us in line, and now we're it's a good budget. So anyway, hope you guys uh, kind of, again, the key... The key to, to this lesson, the key to this video, fixed expense, variable expense. That's huge. Fixed is predictable and consistent. A variable is inconsistent and it's unpredictable uh, sometimes. So it changes. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.